Uh, our student guests tonight are two of the stars of our football team. Now, not only did they deliver us two bonfires in two years, yeah. they also broke records along the way and looked great doing it. And now they're going to break our couch with their beautiful, terrifying mask. Please welcome back to the Ferrari. so offensive. <laughs> I don't know, felt pity for me, I guess. That's awesome. Did you, did you get like a, like a trophy? Um, well, there's like a trophy. They actually keep it, so I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you get to hold it for a couple minutes and then give it back. <laughs> do, they put, do they put your name on it? Yeah, it's like a plaque oh, okay. on the side. So, so, it's just it um, so guys, I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't want to be rude. Uh, for our, our freshman and sophomore year, the football team was not doing well. <laughs> not great. What? What changed? What kicked in? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just say like the new coaching staff really just like. I feel up. like Karan really wants to answer. Yeah. This. <laughs> <laughs> Rob got it. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, um, yeah. We just got better. <laughs> I feel like there's more. <laughs> All right, well, we'll let that slide. We just can't get the answers we want to. Uh, are you communist? No. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, Quinn, you've, you've been compared to a young Tim Tebow. Do you like this comparison? It's kind of a sort of double edged. Uh, no, I, I like it. I kinda, I've always kind of looked up to him as far as um, his faith and just uh, how he treats people and handles himself. and. Um, Kind of the style of my game, I guess, kind of is similar to his, too. So I've always liked the comparison. That's awesome. That's awesome. Karan, uh, you've also been compared to young Tim Tebow. <laughs> <laughs> no, are there, um, are there players, you know, pro players that you aspire, that, that you relate to or uh, identify with? What, now? Uh, pro players like uh, good players, Geno Atkins. He's a, um, I have no idea who that <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am, I, I was not lying to you, I am first in my fantasy league. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I, just pick, I just pick numbers and then, um, that's it. <laughs> um, now, you guys both, you guys both have a lot of nicknames, right? Uh, can you share some, share some nicknames with the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Are they that bad? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ron can... <laughs> so Quinn has a couple of nicknames. Um, some of them are uh, the amazing, um, baby Tebow. Um, Enigma is the most popular one. <laughs> Enigma, because he can do everything, and they just don't understand how he can do it. That's not bad. That's a compliment. <laughs> Maybe it comes from our uh, like we have a writer that writes for the team every week, and uh, he's he's come up with some some clever titles to uh, his articles, to say the least. So you have like a retired like comic book writer, just like <laughs> yeah, that's the, the enigma. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of what he tries to turn it into. Uh, I know, like he he like will go through each week and make points. So for Roman, he'll write a section on him. It'll be titled "The Roman Empire." <laughs> Things like that. So you kind of, kind of get where he's going. The Roman yeah. Empire, descended yeah. from Maximilian. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's wild. Uh, 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 your nickname is Chop. <coughs> what's what's the origin of Chop? Uh, I wear the number eleven. Uh, number eleven looks like chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> That makes that's like straightforward. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Rod, but I don't know. I, that's this is why I'm not a retired comic book writer. <laughs> uh, but Karan, you're sort of a you're kind of a fifth year senior, right? Uh, what's what's going on? What's are you in classes? Are you kind of a weird townie? <laughs> <laughs> I was a weird townie in the spring. I actually took the spring off, and 
like I had two classes this fall, uh, finished my thesis, uh, and uh, I mean, I've just been chilling, working out. Do you have classes in the spring, or are you just? No, oh, no, I'm done. I'm I'm leaving Friday. <laughs> Next, I'm um, going down to Florida uh, to train for the Senior Bowl, and then hopefully the Combine. That's that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Are you are you feeling you feeling good about that? Or are you feeling? Oh yeah, I'm feeling really good. <laughs> uh, good. I like that. Uh, now, uh, you were saying in a recent interview, um, actually being from the Ivy League is is kind of a liability when it comes to the NFL draft. Yeah. Um, why is that? Like, I mean, we could do anything we want, pretty much. Uh, we don't have they, the perception is that we don't necessarily have to play football uh, because we're smart and we have like jobs. <laughs> Job <laughs> <laughs> this kid's just gonna go work for McKinsey anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. You would think I, this is why I'm also not an NFL draft <laughs> supervisor. <laughs> for those guys are. Um, but now you're you, you actually do have other a lot of other things going on. We're gonna see in a bit. You are an incredible singer. Uh, if you had to, if you had to pick. If you had to pick between singing and football. Football. football? Absolutely. Why are we having you sing then? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, one thing. Um, one thing. Our uh, producer, Amy Solomon, you just heard laugh. Uh, one thing she wanted to ask about was, uh, quote, uh, "What's it like to have a lot of people on you?" Um, <laughs> Can she be one of them? <laughs> Don't need to answer that. Uh, Quinn, can you sit? No. Can Amy be on you? Never mind. <laughs>